Hello and welcome to Ask the Crown. I'm Stephanie McGrain and I am so excited to have Miss Teen USA joining me today, Logan West. Hello. She's beautiful and so talented. We're so excited to have her. Welcome, Logan. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Now, Logan, I have to tell you, yes. when you were crowned Miss Teen USA, I loved your reaction. You were Thank so excited. You. It was priceless. But Thank tell us, how were you feeling at that exact moment when you found out that you were the new Miss Teen USA? Um, I honestly can't even describe it. I didn't even remember what I did. People have to tell me the next morning. I kind of just panicked and freaked out at the same time. Um, but I just, I think it was really just a feeling of pride and joy um, because my win I always say it wasn't just me winning because I didn't I wasn't the only one who put in work but it was a win for like my family and my friends my support system and then I guess my state too because it was I'm the first one to win from Connecticut so and congratulations <laughs> that is amazing I, I can only imagine what that feeling must be like incredible well, now let me ask you this you yeah. must have had the most amazing year but tell us what are some of your highlights that you've yeah. had um, I'm a people person, so anything that I got to do that really um, allowed me to interact with other people, I think, was the best stuff. So especially community service things like Best Buddies and Project Sunshine have always been my highlights. Um, but I also think the sisterhood that comes with winning is also something that I enjoy, just because no one will ever understand what you're going through, like someone going through it as well. So first I had Layla and Olivia got to stay, and then Nana came, and now Aaron. So um, just having them, they are truly are like sisters, so I enjoy them. Isn't that the truth? Sister queens, yes, absolutely. And and they truly are like your sisters. Sure. I Well, I bet you had an incredible year, but can you share with us what was the most challenging thing about being Miss Teen USA? Um, I think balancing being Miss Teen USA and then just a regular old college student at the same time. Um, I went to Pace University. I'm a dance major there, so I had to balance like going out and doing all these red carpet stuff and then like a half an hour later having to run back to my dorm and do homework for the next morning. So I think trying to balance the two got a bit tricky, but I got I got into the swing of it and then things got a lot easier. I bet. I bet kind of going from the college life to the Miss Teen USA life yeah. and the Red Carpet events. They're very different lifestyles. <laughs> oh, absolutely, absolutely. Well, now I have to ask because I love this story. But mm -hmm. tell us, why do you like turtles so much? I love turtles. Um, when I was about eight years old, my mom went on a mission trip to South Dakota, and she heard the story of the turtle, and she came back with little turtle braces for my sister and I and explained the whole thing. And basically it's that turtles carry their homes on their back that they can stick their head out into the world and experience whatever they want to, but if they're nervous or scared, um, they can always come home. And my parents kind of brought us up, letting us know that home is our safe place, and no matter what we wanted to do, no matter where we wanted to go, just always know that we could always come home. So we'll always just live with that. And then after that, I kind of just got obsessed, and I have necklaces and bracelets. I have pillows, stuffed animals, you name it. I've got it with a turtle on it. I love that. Anytime <laughs> I see a turtle or think of a turtle, I'm going to think of that. I'm going to remember <laughs> that. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Now, Logan, tell us, how old were you when you first started competing in pageant? Yeah, um, I did my very first pageant when I was five. Um, a girl at my dance studio needed, like, one other person to, like, fill it out so they could have an age category, and I did it. And my mom was like, Logan, we're all going to go in. We're going to do it for fun. I was like, no, Mom, I'm going to win. And she was like, no, Mom, <laughs> like, everyone gets something. I was like, no, Mommy, I'm going to win. And um, I ended up winning, which was crazy. My, but my parents weren't into the whole pageant lifestyle at the time, so um, I didn't do another one. And then I did one in, when I was 12. We read about it in a newspaper, and I enjoyed it after that. My parents just said they wanted it to be able to be my decision. They never wanted to feel like they were pushing me. Um, so then I did another one when I was 15 and then this one when I was 17. Wow. Now, do you think someday you will compete for the title of Miss USA? At this point, I honestly don't know. When people ask, I say that I'm retired from pageants now, but um, I had a feeling when I wanted to compete for Miss Team USA. So if I get that same feeling a couple years from now, then maybe, but as of now, I'm retired. Well, that's good to know. But we'll be watching just in case. Just in case. <laughs> now, you were bullied in school, and you created a program called Bully Proof. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, um, it's originally called Bully Proof, but we've recently changed the name to Night Against Bullies Today. Um, and basically, I was bullied by a classmate who told me I did not act my skin color. Um, so for six months, day in and day out, I was tortured, humiliated. And um, I just never really knew enough about bullying to be able to kind of 
deal with the situation. So after that, I kind of just said it was going to make it my mission to turn that negative experience into something positive, and that's when we came up with the program. So it really just teaches students five tips on how to stop a bully and then gives them all the information they need about bullying. So from the definition to ways to go about stopping a bully, like everything they could possibly need in the situation. So um, I started it really just as a way to kind of help the students in my town, but eventually it spread around Connecticut. And I think with every presentation, it ended up helping me at the same time because I had to kind of force myself to come to terms with what had happened in order to move forward. So it was a double win. Oh, that's great. And I'm so glad to see that you're making a difference. And, you know, no one should have to be bullied. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a terrible, terrible thing to endure. So the fact that you are educating others and changing lives, good for you. That is fabulous. Thank you very much. Now, okay, I have to ask. You're so <laughs> lucky because you got to do Teen on the Scene at yeah. Miss Cafe. That's uh -huh. so awesome. And you got to do celebrity interviews and interview the celebrity judges. But tell us, who was your favorite person to interview and why? Um... Oh, I think it's a tie between the Jonas Brothers, just because I used to be a really big Jonas Brothers fan, and between Bob Harper, because he was just really, really nice, so I liked him. He was like, I enjoy celebrities that really don't think they're celebrities, but kind of just act like regular people, and he seemed totally normal, so I loved him. Oh my goodness, you're so lucky. I wish I could have been there doing that. <laughs> it was awesome. It was awesome. Now, the new Miss USA, Erin Brady, is from yeah. Connecticut, mm -hmm. and you are from Connecticut. So what was your reaction when your sister queen from your same state became Miss USA? Um, I'm pretty sure I reacted the same way I did when I, when I was like jumping up and down in the corner and screaming. Um, I've known Erin for a couple years now, so um, I watched her compete at Miss Connecticut and then I watched her compete at Miss USA and like I wanted it for her and I'm pretty sure I was just as nervous as she was. So um, knowing her as a person and not just seeing her because clearly all the girls are beautiful, but actually knowing her made me want it ten times more because she really is an incredible woman. So. Oh, she she certainly does. She yeah. seems she's beautiful and she seems yeah. like an incredible lady. Definitely. Now I know you've been dancing for most of your life. Yes. Like, do you plan to continue to pursue dancing or what's next for you? Um, I'm in a bit of a tricky situation now. I think. Um, well, when I graduated high school, I told myself that I was going to go to school for dance, even though I, I eventually want to be a lawyer, but I couldn't give up on my passion just yet. Um, so as of now, I'm just going to finish my degree and see where it takes me, but um, I've signed with a modeling agency now, so I think I'm kind of just exploring all the options I have, but dance is definitely still my number one right now. Well, congratulations on that. Wow, very cool. Thanks. Very cool. Okay, what is your advice to all of the girls out there who aspire to become Miss Teen USA? Um, stay true to who you are. I think that lots of times in pageants people think you have to give like the right answer or say the right thing or wear the right dress, but I think if you really just allow yourself to let loose and have fun and just enjoy the moments rather than like freaking out about them, I think you'll be in a much better place. Um, I kind of went to the pageant saying that I was going to do the best that I could. I really had no expectation of winning at all. It was my first time in the Bahamas, so I said I would enjoy it, and then whatever happened, happened. So I think if you kind of go on with the attitude of just taking something away from every experience versus just being focused on the crown, you'll have a lot more fun, you'll get a lot more out of it. Great advice. And you'll soon be back in the Bahamas, is that yeah. correct? Yes, just a little less than a month now. On August 10th, you will be crowning your successor. Will be. And where can we tune in? Can we tune in? Will it be streamed live? Can yes. we watch you? Yeah, it will be webcasted on MissTeamUSA.com, and you can tune in on August 9th as well to watch the preliminary competition. Well, we'll definitely be tuning in for that. Yeah. And I, Logan, I want to say thank you so much for taking the time to join me on Ask the Crown. Thank you you are a gorgeous title holder. You're so real. I love your personality. You're truly a queen. And we'll definitely be tuning in on August 9th and August 10th mm -hmm. to watch you and to watch you crown your successor. And we'll definitely be watching for all of the amazing things that you'll be accomplishing in the future. Thank you so much for joining me. Yeah. And thanks to all of the viewers for tuning in. Be sure to hit the subscribe button so you never miss an episode of Ask the Crown. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.